What's up guys, Miles here with 9to5Mac. Uh, we've got another convenient slash shortcut accessory here. Uh, this time around, it's the Stream Deck from Elgato Gaming, but what exactly is this for? So the true intended purpose of the Stream Deck is for optimizing a gamer slash streamer's workflow for maximum efficiency. It's got built-in shortcuts for pretty much all the major streaming apps that gamers like to use. This includes Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, OBS, and Streamlabs. But uh, the problem here for me is that I'm not really a gamer or a streamer. So initially, I didn't think I'd get much use out of this thing, but after playing around with it for a little bit and seeing what I could throw into the tiles, I gotta say, I've kind of fallen in love with the thing. So let's take a look at my setup and how I got it to work. So as you can see in the software, there are 15 different tiles that you can use for whatever you'd like. And the first one I've got here is a custom tile for showing my CPU usage. Um, this is a MacBook Air that I'm running this on. It's been my daily driver laptop for a little while now. So I'm honestly just curious as to how much of the CPU is being used when doing certain tasks and how it handles certain tasks. The next one here is a custom tweet function because the Stream Deck has a built-in panel for Twitter stuff. And so this is not something I'm going to tweet out every day, but I recently started doing live streams uh, on the MCU Exchange YouTube channel. So whenever I'm about to go live, I just hit this button and kaboom, uh, my people have been made aware. So if we go on Twitter here, so as you can see, the tweet is live. These next two are just for opening applications. So here I've got Final Cut Pro in Adobe Lightroom. And obviously you're only saving about a half second when clicking the tile as opposed to like dragging your mouse down onto the dock and clicking on it. But I honestly just like seeing it in this uh, form right here. So I'm gonna just leave it there. This next one is just a clock because honestly my eyes have a better time traveling down to the stream deck uh, than up to the top right corner of this 35 inch monitor I've got here. And it just adds a bit of dynamic flavor to the setup. I like the way it looks on the deck. Um, and as you can see here, we can change the uh, faces. So that's pretty cool as well. So on the second row, we've got a website shortcut for opening up the 9to5Mac website for obvious reasons. Uh, the next we've got is stocks. Uh, I'm honestly getting more and more into this as of late, and so this is the perfect little way for me to easily monitor it. And on the other end, I've got another website shortcut. This is for MCU Exchange, YouTube channel I mentioned earlier. And next to that is a text shortcut. So you can add in any text you want under 500 characters. And then when you have a space, it'll just put it in like that. Uh, so it works pretty well. And you can add a custom icon to this as well, as well as any of the tiles, any icon you can add a custom image of your choosing. So the other four tiles, as you can see here, are simply for controlling media playback in iTunes, pausing, skipping, tracks, and muting my music. So I listen to music pretty much every day in the office, so this works perfectly for me. The Stream Deck also allows you to add different profiles for different scenarios. So for example, you can have a profile for Twitch and a profile for YouTube streaming, and they both have different tiles. And uh, the Stream Deck also gives you access to switching profiles, setting a timer, uh, custom functions like that is bull stuff I really like. See, we can here just add a timer, set it for, let's say, 60 seconds. We click it, then it starts, which is pretty cool. Overall, this device works really, really well, and I can totally see how this is so incredibly worth it for those who earn a living streaming content. As far as what I'd like to see in a second gen, a detachable cable with a USB-C option would be really, really cool. And then as far as what they can do in terms of software, getting an incognito option for opening website links would be pretty useful as well, but otherwise, the software works really well. I've had no issues in terms of functionality and usability. But that's pretty much it for this one. Let me know in the comments if you're also a non-gamer slash streamer who would pick up something like this and there will be a link in the description down below to purchase if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.